Guys, before we get into the episode, do you like going to live sporting events? Or maybe the tickets are too expensive and you d- you don't know where to look, where to start. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app and create an account. Use the code FRIDAY for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code FRIDAY for $20 off. A quick special gracias to our friends at Babbel, friends of the pod. Right now, get 50% off a one time payment for a lifetime Babbel subscription, but only for our listeners at babbel.com slash Friday, F-R-I-D-A-Y. Get 50% off at babbel.com slash Friday. Rules and restrictions may apply. Guys, learn a language, go travel, live your life. Thank you to our sponsor, Squarespace. Thinking of starting your own website? Start a free trial at squarespace.com. It's where dreams become websites. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to www.squarespace.com slash Friday, F-R-I-D-A-Y. You'll save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Let's get into the episode. Okay, you're confused. You're wondering what's going on. Where's the episode? Who, who's was played? It? Guys, listen. Liam and Emily are MIA. Liam is out training child soldiers in Russia. Emily, she just disappeared off the face of the earth. She was saying some crazy shit and just left. No one really knows where she is. So here's what we're going to do. I went on Will and Rusty's play date, okay, hosted by Rusty Featherstone and Will Donnellan. You know him, you love him. We've had him on here before. Uh, it was a great episode. Go ahead and listen to that, guys. We're going to drop that on our page. Um, and then go ahead and listen to Liam's episode as well. We both went on there. It was a lot of fun. Uh, and then we're going to be back to our regularly scheduled programming next week. Thanks for understanding, guys. You're going to enjoy this one. A lot of fun segments, a lot of fun bits. We're going to have these guys back on, too. So if you haven't listened to the air episode on our podcast, maybe do that and then listen to this one. Either way, we got a nice little family here we're cultivating, and we just want you to be a part of it. Thanks, guys. Enjoy the episode. All right. Episode 20. We have a very, very special guest today. We always said if we made it 20 episodes, we'd bring on our tallest friend, Ladies and gentlemen, Will Angus. Thanks for having me, guys. Thanks for uh, thanks for coming in. I've been eyeing this pod since day one. Mm-hmm. I'm y'all's biggest supporter. Really? Have you ever uh, listened to an episode? Yeah. First one. There you go. <laughs> I did. That's awesome. And you watch the clips? You, you were saying the, you love the clips? I watch all the clips. What's your favorite th- th- clip? <laughs> mm, I think you're the dartboard one, the dartboard saying. Oh, yeah. People love the a bullseye ain't worth 60. Yeah. Well, it's a re- it's a really good one. We got more sayings today. We you brought yeah, some. Yeah, I brought some. Say, they're hard to come up with. Yeah. yeah. Well, when, they're actually really hard to come up with. You could never do what we do. I don't think I could. <laughs> did you come up with all of yours this morning? I did, yeah. yeah. I did. I got up early, kind of 8 8:30 normal. Yeah. Not I don't usually get up that early on the weekend, so I got up early yeah. so I could squeeze in some Baldur's Gate this morning. What's Baldur's that? Gate? Is it a like, game? Yeah, it's a, new, it's a new game. Is it PC? No, it's like it's, Xbox. No, it's like it's like really like racy. <laughs> it's real. I probably shouldn't be talking. It's, about it's not PC. Give me a synopsis. I probably sh- I probably shouldn't bring it up. <laughs> Give me a quick rundown. D and D. Okay, I want to get into D and D. I what? do too. Wait, D and D like Dungeons, Dungeons and Dragons. And Dragon. It's like the video. It's a, you come up with we stuff. Should, we should play. I want to get like a guy to come in and host and, and host D&D, one and yeah. hear and do it. I'm in. I'm in. Well, you need like you need like a legit. Uh, you got a game get master. Fashion. What's it called? Dungeon master. Dungeon master. <laughs> you're, f- you're doing fine. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. I we would. got we got sayings that don't exist. We got our pitches and well, you guys get right into it. No, we we give a roadmap. Yeah, just just so people know what they're what they're getting into. Whoa! And then we got Ben and wait, wait, Jerry's flavors that don't write, exist. We got to do that. A roadmap. Ro- okay. You couldn't do that though. Road you guys map. don't plan anything. Roadmap. <laughs> I um. I you guys were right to ask how my weekend was. Yeah. yeah. Wait, oh how yeah. Was your weekend well. Hey dude, how was your weekend? Oh, it was sick, dude. On Saturday, I had, I had an all time night. I went. <laughs> Yeah, I'm me, so excited. He's giving me those eyes. No, I just got goosebumps. I went to this karaoke. I can't believe I'm in here. I went to a karaoke. <laughs> I went to a karaoke bar. Yeah, uh, Gaslight. You ever heard of it? No, Santa Monica. Ooh, I've been there. Yeah, I used to take my ex girlfriend there. Yes, very good. Yes. <laughs> very good. Yes. Anyway, I get there. We're like, all right, let's go do karaoke. We go. There's like an iPad where you like put your name, your song, and your name in, and mm-hmm. it's like 
everyone around's like, it's not working. Like the karaoke machine's been broken for hours. Like <laughs> it's not working tonight. And everyone's like, oh, like this sucks. And then I just like swipe down like the little command center thing and the the Wi-Fi was just like turned off. <laughs> <laughs> so I just hit the Wi-Fi button and immediately it popped right on. So I got to cue the first song and everyone was like, I was like the bell of the ball. Everyone yeah, was like, were, oh my God. Like it was definitely like, the I was beat. like, I got the karaoke back and like the employees loved me. <laughs> like ever I was like the man and then I went up and did over my head by the fray. And oh, I was like already so cool. like the guy the man at that point. Yeah. Yeah. It was sick. Oh, it was, was your sick. was your new gal there to see it? No, I was got a new girl. I don't. I went on one date last Tuesday. Oh, <laughs> oh wait, we never got to hear about Romeo. That. <laughs> but but then after that, I went and played Settlers of Catan, mm-hmm. and I did the the second coolest part of my night. You got longest road. I did that. I, it was a, it was a bloodbath. I had longest road. I already had three the cities, largest so, army, and I was I I picked up the night card to I I knew on my next turn I'd play it and win the game. You controlled the flow of commerce. So I called <laughs> I called the Uber and ordered Taco Bell before like while everyone else was going and so then it got to my turn I pulled out the card, <laughs> won the game, held up my phone, my Uber was already there. Oh man. It was the sickest Lord. move of all time. And my Taco Bell was on the way. That's like the end. <laughs> yeah, <I was> like, <laughs> feels like the Peace end of Godfather 1. It was so cool. I said, "All right, like, get, oh, can't say I didn't see that coming. Showed him the Uber, walked out. Get to the Uber, I forgot my wallet. So then I had to go back in. So it was <laughs> oh, kind of ruined the, the moment. But it was cool. Whose house was this at? Mike. It was a new guy. He was killer. A new guy? I met a, I met a new... Part of the update? Yeah, he was like my a friend of a friend that I met that night. And he was just a, a killer guy. I can't do Catan in real life. I, I play it on my laptop. Because keeping track of, like, everything for me is a nightmare. Like we would, we would. <laughs> it's all there. What are you talking about? It's all in front of you. Like I don't know. I wouldn't know what to do if my laptop was like. These are your options. So like we would all get together and pull our laptops out, and then there's no cleanup. Well, you can only roll. That's and, so lame. You can only roll and build. <laughs> it was right? just. It was. What it was part? A, yeah. What part was? <laughs> it was. A, it was a little over my head. So we would. All, we all had it on Steam, That's and we would play. Chet plays online. Yeah. Play it on Your Steam. Story. It's really fun. No, it's fun in person. It's way more fun in person. But, like, we could all play from different houses. Together. Yeah, but I would way rather, like, drive to your house and play it. Mm. You've literally never once driven to my house. I don't have a car. I'm just saying, in theory. <laughs> every time I ask, every time I ask Will, Will texted me the other day, unprompted, and goes, um, if I could teleport to your house, I would, I would hang out. But, I'd, <laughs> but I don't want to. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> uh, I was stuck as hell. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I might need to get a car, dude. We're gonna for moving offices. I know yeah. that's gonna be, gonna be that's I'm a huge problem. <laughs> oh, neither of you guys have cars. No, correct. Yeah, I see. <laughs> or you're, I don't know if we're bleep it. Yeah, bleep it. Ble- uh, bleep I see. Bleep it. I see. I see your friend <laughs> Kathy. I hear, I see Kath Kathleen drop you off at work sometimes, and it's like it's it's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, Kath, Kathy's fine. Go yeah. On. I just like I like the visual. I don't have a I don't have anyone to drive me to work. It's a very lonely endeavor. We have fun. We have a fun morning. Um, I drink my little coffee. I either walk or drive here. Quick two minute drive. Now, it's gonna explode my morning. Yeah, I, it's gonna destroy my entire process. Well, where are we? Yeah, I, mean, I'm gonna I don't think know. The, I think one of the I don't have a car is, or a bike. I'm gonna I don't to, know what I'm gonna do. I think one of the options is closer to your house. No. Over by the canals? There could be nothing closer to my house. Yeah. Well, then maybe we could tag team it. Mm-hmm. Well, Chester... Are you talking about, like, carpooling? Reduce our carbon emissions. Carbon emissions? Try to, ma- try to make up for Taylor Swift. <laughs> yeah. eco so Not to get political. Eco- Do you guys see on, uh, on Delta, now they tell you, like, what, your, yeah, what like the carbon you're emission is? I've never understood... If I buy a nicer seat, it says that I have a bigger... There's mo- I'm somehow producing more carbon, but that probably don't still- need a portion of it to research. But we're still on the same plane, so how am I? How am I worse for Your being seat in a is nicer bigger. seat? The plastic to make the seat is way more. If there weren't first class people, there'd be more people on the plane, which would reduce carbon emissions. So by by nature of their existing a first class, you're taking up an extra seat. Yeah, got a notification this morning that I that I already got upgraded for my flight on Thursday. Nice, bringing in there. 
Where are yeah. you going? Uh, I'm going to Boston. Gold medallion, no big deal. Why are you going to Boston? Going to see my lady friend for her birthday. Ooh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe you could do some, bang out some videos while you're there. <laughs> hey, we could really use some for the Drink Friday beer. Yeah, we need something for the yeah, Drink so Friday I, Yeah, so if you go and take a look at the spreadsheet, uh, I, I think I'm the only one that's made one so far. Oh, yeah. Isn't the dude like today? Yeah, I think the deadline today. We could probably just drink a bunch of fried beers on this and clip it and put it in that. Thing. I can't. I gotta go hiking later today. Af- right after with your mom podcast with my mom. Nice. Uh-huh. Yeah. What about right, your papa? We- and my papa is your brother in town? No, I love your brother. Thank you. He's a good guy. Yeah, he's a nice guy. Older Should we brother? get into some pictures, guys? Yeah, he's twenty nine. He's older than you, even. He's older than me. Yeah. Hmm. How old are you? Twenty eight. Twenty seven. Twenty six. Twenty seven. Twenty seven. 27. Well, when's your birthday? 9-11. Oh. Not, I know yours. Sorry. March. March? Mm-hmm. Oh. What day? Coming up. It's coming up. Did kids March at what? I was going to say, did, did kids in your class still celebrate your birthday, or what, did 9-11, like, overshadow it? No, nah, dude, it was like, <laughs> people, they, they started a whole hashtag for people not to forget it, dude. So, like, every, there were, people come out of the woodwork. Like, I remember, like, people wishing me a happy birthday that it was like, you only know that because it's 9-11, you know what I mean? Wait, can I bring up something 9-11 related? Yeah, <sighs> always. Can, can we pull up clips? Yeah. Uh, okay, of 9-11? Have you already seen it? <laughs> <laughs> What are you talking about? No, look up. Um, I mean, this is going to spoil it. Whoa, who's betting? Spoiled 9 11? No, this is going to spoil the clip I'm going to show you. Look up Black Rifle Coffee. Oh, yeah, yeah. They sent us stuff. Oh. 9 11 commercial. Oh, 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 God. I think I've seen it, this it guy. Out, they're like they're like ex Marines. It came out two days ago. Let's see. Uh, if we. <laughs> oh. Oh God! Is this is not, a coffee guy. No, uh, uh, it's like brand new. Um, Where do you find it? Where do you see it? I saw it, it on TV. It says it has one uh, view on, and on it was cable, uploaded at cable. six a.m. this morning. <laughs> <laughs> saw it on cable, showing my age. This maybe. What you watching? Yeah, let's try it. What were you watching? December twenty. It has. It has to be. It might be this. What were you? What was it when you were watching the um, uh. Cowboys game? Uh, I was watching the... This is going to be such is a it? bummer. No, this isn't, isn't it. it. Okay, I'll just explain it. All right. It's like a guy at a bar with his girlfriend. Clearly in like Boston. Oh, maybe it's this. Is it this? No, seven months ago. Could be. They make like political ads, but then it's for coffee. All right, whatever. Okay. All right, it's explain this guy it. in a bar, and he's hanging out with his girlfriend. They're laughing, and then all of a sudden he looks up at the TV, and it's 9-11. <laughs> and he's like, his, he's locked in, and then he like... <laughs> Boom! All of a sudden, he's like in training camp, and then he's in Afghanistan fighting or Iraq. Yeah, um, and then um, and then it just cuts to like Black Rifle Coffee Company. And I, I just—it's crazy. That's it's like awesome. Using nine eleven to promote. Yeah, coffee. yeah. Also, like looking back on like going to Iraq is like, yep, that was the that was the right course of action. <laughs> like we're glorifying. The- well, only <laughs> time will tell, so we won't know for another hundred. We won't, yeah. That's true. That's so true. You can't. To be honest, you can't really say anything. It right? felt, yeah. Did but you that really? is insane. You can make an argument both ways. Yes. What was that Robert Pattinson movie where it's a good com- time? Yeah, it's a com- no, it's a completely normal movie, the entire movie, and then in the la- in the last fifteen seconds, you realize that it was all happening on September eleventh, two thousand one. I he's- don't think that's a Robert Pattinson movie. Yeah, I promise you, it's a Robert Pattinson. It's like a, it's like I've a, heard of that. It's like a romantic movie, and it's supposed to show how unexpected this was. And the last scene is him in his dad's office looking out, and it pans out, and it's the Twin Towers. And everyone was like, oh. Uh, uh, Twilight? Batman? <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, let's hear, new some, moon. let's hear some pitches. <laughs> new moon. I think it was new moon. Guys, taking a quick break to talk to you about Southern Comfort. With an innovative blend of fruit and... And spices, Southern Comfort Whiskey is the original ready-for-anything spirit. Satisfying on its own and ideal in any mixed drink, Southern Comfort is tasteful and approachable. However you drink it, whoever you drink it with, and whatever you mix it with. It's incredible. I got the Southern Comfort Black right here. Big fan, personally. Of the Southern Comfort Original, a nice, smooth blend. Southern Comfort Original uses an iconic recipe of sweetly spiced fruits mixed with a dash of whiskey flavor that's been popular for decades in a category of its own. 
Uh, this was for me the nice stuff I bought in college. When I decided I don't want to drink, I don't want to drink that five dollar whiskey anymore. I've been drinking it for months straight. I'm saving up my money. I'm buying something nice, treating myself with some Southern Comfort Original. No matter the moment, Southern Comfort is ready for anything. Packed with flavor, mixes with anything, and easy to drink. So next time you are at the bar, go ahead and order some Southern Comfort Sour Shots. One part SoCo, two parts sour mix. They're delicious and guaranteed to keep the party going. So, Will, if you're not... If you're not familiar, if you're not with us, you're against us. We, the first thing we do is we hear pitches from the listeners, from our playmates, okay. from our playmates, and we and we say whether or not we would invest. In you're them. think like he's Cuban. I'm Damon. No, I'm John, the I'm uh, we're, guy, we're I'm, both Damon. No, I'm we're Barbara. both Damon. Right? Sure, we're both Damon. I'm Barbara. You're Barbara. You're Randy. No, you're when Kevin Hart like guest starred. I was gonna say, <laughs> can I be like the GoPro guy that like I'm Simon had his his sun soaked <laughs> hair with sand in it. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, pr- yep. All right, I'm GoPro man. Okay, first one is from Sophia Carp. Yo, dog. Sophia she... Carp. <laughs> Wait, Sophia. Whoa. Sophia Carp. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Is that a real name or is this her Instagram handle again? No, it's Sophia. It's like that's a fairly normal. It's so name. that's an awesome name. Sophia is dot Carp with a K. It could be like Karpowski or something. Sure. Okay. Or it's probably for the fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's probably for, okay. probably for she underwater says, or something. Her pitch idea is the idea snatcher. You ever been in a conversation and someone says something really funny or clever and you think to yourself, I wish I came up with that first. Well, <laughs> lucky you. With the idea snatcher, now you did. This device hacks into the memory of anyone who witnessed the first idea or statement and overrides it with a memory of you saying that thing. This can also work in reverse, attributing mm-hmm. any joke or story that didn't quite land to someone else. <laughs> now you can be the bell of the ball wherever you go. Oh my god, that uh, I think would have some pretty, uh, pretty bad consequences. May I interject? Yes. Uh, sell it to the military for forty-five billion dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's how uh, you, you drones. They started as toys, I'm pretty sure. Sold that to the military. Like the four propeller ones. Yeah, yeah. You can make so much money with that idea. I don't know how... I guess let the engineers figure out how to... We're high level. We're high level. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What would they use? Like torture? Yeah, what do you mean? Tor- what? Like you just... The like American you- military... No. <laughs> no. <It'd> be- <laughs> okay, so let's cut that. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. It would be for like... Be for like world... For like world peace, or to re- reduce carbon emissions. For like stop help convince everyone to switch to solar. Stopping the spread of communism. Yeah. All right. <laughs> let's, but, let's, well, <laughs> you guys are high level, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What's the? What I do, think that. What do, you, why do you think you it would be a military you, application? What's you like? You oh, have, oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. After a big mission, we mm-hmm. take all of the guys that were involved, and we. We take the guilt of whatever they did and we put it on someone else so that they come home without PTSD. Okay. Mm. And the people we put it on are like foreign or they're yeah, they're not they're not from here. Okay. okay it doesn't cool. even I was thinking we could just go to like a country where like say they got like a bunch of cool rocks we want. <laughs> <laughs> Grab the governor, the chieftain, whatever it is, <laughs> and use it on him. Make him forget. You know what I'm saying? We can topple governments with it. And you get government subsidies. By making him think he had an idea? <laughs> yeah, like, he, what, he came up with the idea to switch to capitalism or something. Okay, I got it. Yeah, like yeah, you, yeah, you tr- It's, it's yeah. like Inception. It's oh, kind of like, like you uh, think of the idea to, like, give all your resources to the U.S. and then yeah, you and make go, him think yeah, that. You, you thought of that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's kind of like yeah, my mom. I guess we'll I take liked it, it. My I mom guess. used to tell me if you want your dad to do something, you have to convince him that it was his idea. So you would just yeah. be like, you'd plant a seed like a week in advance and then let him come to you and be like, we should go water rafting. What? what, what <laughs> water, water rafting? Water rafting. What and be like... Ask Buenda? <laughs> no, I'm not. Um, and uh, yeah. So I think, I think we figured that one out. Let's hear the next one. Well, yeah. Sophia did. Sophia, Sophia. Carp. Do you, yeah, no, no, do but, you buy? But, Is it like a buy, sell? We we um, typically low, invest in all of them. Bonds. Yeah. High. I don't. I think the last one we didn't invest in was, uh, it was something that like we had already come up with. Yeah, we try to buy low, sell high in general. Yeah. I guess so. <laughs> all right, next one is from Annie McMahon. Wow! Wow! Strong name. I knew what Annie McMahon. Is. Wait, is it 
I think I know who this person is. How do you spell uh, Annie? That's how, that's what would... A-N-N-I-E. Are you sure? <laughs> what do you mean am I sure? I'm staring at what are you it. Doing? <laughs> it's, not who I, and it's not who I was thinking of then. All right. They spelled it weird. Okay. Hi, I'm a huge fan of the show and I came up with a pretty sick pitch. The car call. Have you ever been driving and see someone who sucks at driving and wonder if they even know how? Some drivers, <laughs> with their stupidity, are not self-aware. Enter the car call. This device allows you, allows you to connect to the Bluetooth of cars around you and tell them how bad they are. Maybe they maybe they That's knew awesome. they were bad and yep. just need some driving advice, or maybe they <laughs> didn't and you just helped a fellow citizen. This will 100% work at keeping dummies in check. If you bring this on Shark Tank, please give me credit. Thanks. I love it so much. Yeah. Does the, she think this is Shark Tank? Road <laughs> Rage <laughs> murders no. will quadruple. I I actually had this thought organically the other day where I wanted I wanted like game chat for driving because some guy <laughs> some guy cut me off and I wanted to get I wanted to get like in his headset and be like you're a fucking idiot like, <laughs> that'd be an, a good evolution of it game it's chat just, like, constantly, for, yeah. like, it's like what do they call it in games where Prox- it's like, proximity chat proximity yeah yeah chat. proximity chat for cars. <laughs> well, truckers have truckers can always talk to each other they have the big walkie talkie is you that true yeah. Well, they all have like a they. It's like one radio, one frequency uh, that all truckers are on. And mm-hmm. kids, I guess, like in the seventies, used to get bored and go on that thing and like fuck with truckers. I there's, remember. Well, that's like they always know like what what's going on when there's like a traffic incident. You ever been like stopped on the highway yeah. and then like my parents would like. I remember they'd like ask a trucker what's going on. Yeah. Wait, what? Because they're all on. Because they're he, he'll be like, oh yeah, there's a car broken down in the middle lane up there. Because he heard. Oh, they would roll the window down and ask the trucker. Yeah, I yeah, thought yeah, you meant yeah. your parents also <laughs> had that thing. No, no, no. Um, <clears throat> we yeah. need this. We need this in LA. That's one of the best ones I've heard yeah. so far. For sure. We, it wouldn't. I mean, it wouldn't help us because we don't. F- oh yeah. It would help me in cars. It Actually, me. it would have helped us last week, and there was a murder on the four hundred five. <laughs> really? And what? some of the crew got stuck on the four hundred five before one of our YouTube shoots. How? Like, they how did they murder? Down the f- I think with like a gun. No, like drive, like, <laughs> like like car to car or like car to car. Yeah, oh. CTC. <laughs> when we were at when we were in college, we were driving to Jacksonville um, for a Jaguars game, and uh, there was like this huge crime scene on the side of I think it was like the the ten or whatever the route route one, whatever goes north south. And uh, we found out a couple weeks later that it was a biker gang shootout happened. Like there were two rival biker gangs, and one guy fired and hit an, hit like this is not funny, but like hit like the, <laughs> hit the wife of like she was on the back of his motorcycle. Like, had nothing to do with the beef. The only casualty just like clipped his wife and then like took Jesus. off. Jesus! Oh yeah. my gosh! Did yeah. you see this? No, this was like they were like cleaning it up when we drove by. Mm-hmm. I think Falbo was in that when he. Was <laughs> <laughs> It was. It was a basically spatula scraping them. <laughs> imagine, imagine like the, the way I pictured it was like Hell's Angels versus like another local crew, and like they got in a shootout, and like the, and all of them were bad at aiming, and the only one that got hit was the wife. Jesus, one time. Oh, <laughs> no! You had a follow up. No, you got a good story. I got when I wasn't there, but when when my brother was a kid, he was like eight or nine or something. My mom like took him to some store, and my mom went to use the bathroom. She was going number two in the bathroom, and someone held the store up at gunpoint. <laughs> wow. My eight year old brother oh my. was like had to like hide behind like a bookshelf, and my mom was like, "Here's some shit going on." So she's like, "Got to get it over with quick." And then she comes out, and by the time she got out, like the guy had, like taken the money and left. And she's like, "What happened?" And so my brother was like, "Dad had to explain to her that." There was, yeah. Wow. Anyway, oh there was God. a, there was a gun. There was a gunman. Was a does gunman. he remember it clearly? I'm sure that was yeah. traumatizing. I think he does. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He still talks about it. Yeah. It's like the only thing he talks about <laughs> is nonverbal. It's the only thing he stuff. remembers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Bye. Our third pitch submission for the day is from Braston. <laughs> Broston. It's a fake name. No, okay. It's spelled. <laughs> All right, they're fucking with us. No, no. Is this, pro- this is probably someone from that all time names account I see on Instagram? Broston. B H R A H S T. Wait, wait, spell it again. B H R A H S T E N. B H? B H R A H? Could be an accurate. <laughs> <laughs> big hat. Big, big, <laughs> big hat. Big hat, really hot. <laughs> Super tough. Braston. Oh no! Okay, all right. New, you learn a new name every day. <laughs> Listing it out. Right all right, there. Braston. He says, <laughs> "Hey guys, I got a pitch for the pod. 
Are you at a friend's house? Wait, are you ever at a friend's house and they don't give you a good blanket? Yes. Or on a road trip and want to get comfy in the car? The Infinity Blanket is what you need. The Infinity Blanket is a small little blanket that can fit in your pocket and you can take anywhere on the go. With our patent pending technology, you put your height and weight into an app and it will expand and become the perfect perfect fit for you. Mm -hmm. The blanket comes in a variety of colors and also is available in wool, fleece, or quilt. Be comfortable outside of the house with the infinity blanket. I love this. Is quilt a material? I thought it was I thought quilt was like the was like the way that you made it. I did too. I, I thought don't it, think yeah. I don't think you ever been to the quilt museum? <laughs> Is that a real thing? Yeah, and I grew up when I was little in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and like the Amish are bringing the quilts and downtown yeah. there was the quilt museum and that was like the the ongoing threat for like misbehavior. It's like <laughs> if we were gonna go to the water park, but then I was crying, my mom would be like, All right, fine, we're gonna go to the quilt museum then. <laughs> like, no, 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 I'm fine. It's torture. Yeah. Uh, uh, how many of the pitches just are like did they just throw like physics out the window? Mm, All of them. Eighty-seven percent. Okay, that's good. I okay. We're high level. Yeah, again, we're no, high no, no, level. No, no. I don't. I, there's nothing wrong with it, but I'm wondering well, like if, what if, are the parameters? If we don't do that, then we're just Shark Tank. That's where yeah. we feel like we're providing an outlet <laughs> for for defying yeah. the laws of reality. There actually aren't physics. any parameters. We've had like l- pitches of like little guys you can put in your pocket. <laughs> okay, well that that one makes sense. <laughs> okay. Um, what if you guys you each get like. Five hundred dollars per round, and whoever comes out with the best business at the end, we like expanded or we like tried to do that that once, Uh and then we just like forget it. (laughs) Yeah, like it's more just about. Well, it's hard to remember what the idea is and like how much cash you got on. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Braston, I love that one. Bra- that was great. I, I think, though, I would probably put in the height and weight of someone much larger than me. I was going to say, yeah. if it has, if it can go I don't go want it to be exactly the proportions of mine. Yeah, it's like a morph suit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like skin tight. I um, fell to the military. <laughs> but Yeah. Yeah. Pitch us, Bretta. Okay. I'm very excited for this. Okay, Beluga Bars. Yep. This is a bar... <laughs> Sorry. This is a bar of soap... That's seven times larger than a normal bar of soap, so you only have to use it once a week. That that is just, I mean, it's high. That's high level. It's that's, high level. It's simple. Mm-hmm. You don't have to fight a lot of physics, like some of these. Yeah, well, it is a little derivative of my idea yeah. about our twenty-four hour podcast, so we'd have clips for the whole year. Well, didn't you, <laughs> didn't, didn't you also didn't you also say uh, on Sunday you brush your teeth fourteen times so you don't have to brush them once? Yeah, that's pretty genius. Yeah, yeah. To be fair, I pitched this idea to Willie a while ago, and that's why he said you've got this stuff. I want you on the pod. I want you to show what you're made of. Yes, and that's how yeah. we're here today. So I right. earned my spot here. Thanks. Yeah, I thanks, know. guy. I know, I know. Thanks, guy. All right, Will, pitch us, Willie. Hey, oh, Willie Dees, my turn. I'm, master, All right. I'm actually pretty bummed that you got to you got to follow up Beluga bars, but I know you got it. Uh, okay, <clears throat> I have the reversible painting. Think about it. We <laughs> we all like a nice painting on our wall, mm-hmm. but sometimes you're like, I'm a little bored of that one. So it's art that's made by like a real professional artist. It's pretty, but there's just two options. There's one on the back, so you hang it up. And then if you're like, all right, I'm going to switch it up this week, you just flip it around, and uh, yeah, you can change the paintings a bunch. I love it. I like that. So people think you're constantly buying new art, too. It's like (laughs) a status thing. Think of all the different combinations. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's like one side happy, one side sad. Yeah, one's like a tree, and one's like a... uh, A bush. Bush. A bush. Part. (laughs) A party. Could like a party scene, like a bunch of... uh, Could you do murals? Uh, Can you good. expand the business? Yeah, and then you click a button and the wall flips. Yeah, and there's like a dungeon on the other side. Yeah, yeah, but it's it's a reverse. What is he doing? He's just making a little I know, noise. we haven't I'm addressed gonna... the elephant in the room. We haven't addressed the dog Warren. in the room. <laughs> <laughs> this is Wall. Wally, you are very healthy, very handsome. This is Walnut. The little man. Um, I love it. No, we introduced Will. Oh. Uh... You know, I've always wanted to storm <laughs> out of a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would have been the perfect time. <laughs> All right, I got memories for Spotify. So every day, it'll say one year ago today, and it makes a playlist of all the songs that you listened to a year ago. I like that. And you can, oh, see, cool. you can see what kind of vibe you were on. Yeah. 
Uh, that would bum me out. I've been listening to the same music for five years. Yeah. Now. yeah. I just... You have like, such... Ooh, more Elliot Smith. I'm just rotting. What do you listen to, actually? I don't know if I know what kind I of... Listen music to, listen to. I, I actually listen to everything. What's... The only thing I don't really <laughs> listen to is electronic <laughs> EDM. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, are you um, a... Not that I don't like it. I just prefer it in person at, like, a concert. What, uh... Like, you you just Spotify? I have Spotify. What was your top artist last year? Uh, Ozzy Osbourne, Black Sabbath. Wow. That's really? crazy. I would not have guessed. That. I didn't have that. On my well, my my parents loved, um, and my brother, older brother, loved like rock music, so like Led Zeppelin and Black Sabbath and Pink Floyd. They were playing all the time. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is pretty cool. And while he's choking, <laughs> and then, can you put him outside? He looks so cute. He's, his choking's really loud. choking. Yeah, he's choking. Wait, so I don't loud. hear anything. Yeah, he hit no, a little. Can we he not? Little, right, he had a little hair. We can't I, talk I about. I was him. trying to get us. Off. We put him outside. He's gonna. He's trying to get out of this. I can't. All right, Will hit us. All right, I have. Well, Oh, well, see, you just I can just head out. Oh, did you not go yet? No, I did beluga bars. Oh, did you go? Yeah, Spotify. Well, not everything's yeah. about you. We have hey. the same name, Corm. I know, I- <laughs> Corm. <laughs> <laughs> like Sporn. Um Sporn. We could go by we could come up with new names right now, I guess. I okay, really you can be Crand. Like no, I just need to say Wick. Okay. <laughs> Always wanted to be Chaz. All right, you be Chaz, I'll be Frosty. That's awesome. Wait, yeah. how about this? You're X ray and I'm Bangkok. What were our uh um, Crambly Suds? What Hell were yeah. our <laughs> names that Hell Joe yeah, gave Brenda. us? That who gave us? In the you, like you know the dino and rap. No, thing? no, I gave you that. What was mine? I think mine was X ray actually. Them? Oh, yeah, it was X-Ray and Smith or something? Mm, there's like, no way you were X-Ray. Smith? Sauce? No, I was X-Ray, I'm pretty sure. Me and Liam are digit and decimal. No, no, this was a Dino and what? Raptor thing. I know. Yeah. We have we have alter egos. Gotcha. Wait, who's who? I don't even know. <laughs> Fake ass fan. Well, I'm rap. I've I'm like rap- tried to figure Actually, it out. Wait, I, I don't can't. know. No, you're, you're, know you're, you're Dino. I I'm believe. Dino? I believe so. All right. Whatever. Pitch us. Okay. Do you still do those? A mic? What? Do what? The dino and wrap it in three phones. No, Just let him go. They were to please. They were to please the masses. Yeah, yeah. The higher ups. Yes. The suits. Our mom. Our mom. Okay, I don't have a name for it. It's a microwave that's also a time machine, but you have to be inside it. It's a microwave. Wait, it's a microwave that's also a time machine, but you have to be inside of it. Yeah. So you got to fit in it. You got to be inside it when you want to teleport, and the microwave turns on. I don't get it at so you all. Gotta, you you got to get really <laughs> hot before you can Yeah, go. so you can't go very far because then you'll... It, it, it's like... You, you see what I'm saying? Oh. It there's actually a, microwaves you. Yeah, there's a drawback. So it comes What would cost. that be like, being inside a microwave? You would you would literally... Your would your be, blood would start to boil oh. first, and then you would die. You could time travel, though. I'd be so angry. Well, you'd also you'd also get cancer and die. Oh. Okay, now here's, here's my other one. This is good. This is fidget. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 what the fuck? We even order. Well, that was a freebie throwaway. Oh, freebie okay. throwaway? Yeah, that was a freebie throwaway. Anyone can do that because that's not very flushed out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> this is fidget furniture, okay? Now we get the guy who made fidget cubes. Yeah. Fidget uh, spinners. Um, there's standing desks right now. There's anti fatigue uh, mats. You know, you like stand What's on an anti fatigue mat? It's like really, you shift your weight on it and it's like good for your posture and stuff. Mm. Okay, this is all fidget stuff. So we upgrade to the workspace. And the first, it's a family of products. The first line of products would be, you know those little, like, uh, those little things babies jump around in where yeah. they can walk and they're on wheels? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah basically, yeah. the first one we do is that. It's But it's a desk. It has all your shit on it. And you basically can, like, roll around. <laughs> and, like, there's little toys on it that you yeah. can play with. And, like, you can take your desk anywhere. My sister um, went down the stairs and knocked her two front teeth out in one of those. Really? Yeah. When? When she was, like, a baby. I guess, yeah, I guess yeah, that's that pretty like... dangerous to have upstairs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, another one would be, like, giant hamster ball. Okay. Good to get around in the office. Yeah, be um, fun. I love this. Yeah, and I then, feel like uh, even just like a couch that has like little gimmies. Yeah. Well, gimmies. they already do fidget furniture. This is the fidget oh, office they do? space kind of. Who does fidget furniture? For, yeah. The company. Your company. Yeah. Oh, they already do fidget furniture. They do couches and like. Okay, so this <laughs> is the second w- wave of products. I'm letting you guys in on a new branch of the company. Got We're, it. We don't need. You've already made up the first part. Fidget furniture. <laughs> we're already doing pretty good. Yeah, we're already doing pretty good. Okay. Our okay. market cap is like two two B's. I think that yeah. the money guy said. That's pretty. Bad. Wow. So fidget furniture. <clears throat> I love it. 
All right, Willie, tell me something. All right, ready? <clears throat> this is a first in the history of our pitches. No. I'm pitching a piece of legislation. Nice. That We're does not <clears throat> seems like... Well, well whatever. Okay, ready? We intru- we, Congress, listen up. It's called the Universal Sock Act. <laughs> and think about it. You know how con- they always have... The, they always try to come up with like cool like acronyms or stuff to like mm-hmm. brand their... So it's USA. So everyone will be like, USA, USA, Universal yeah. Sock Act. And it's just a law that standardizes the sock. We'll pick one color, one shape, and every sock has to be like that so that you don't have to worry about matching or losing them or accidentally grabbing your roommates. It's yep. fine. We are all on the same page with socks. Because I can't find matches to my socks almost every day, and it drives me nuts. Okay, yeah, well, they're not matching right now. Yeah, I have a Nike and an Adidas right now. An Adidas? Yeah, exactly. And a Nike on the other one. Um Here's here's what I love about it. It's kind of like uh, it's kind of like your friends that go to private school that have a uniform. Yeah, and they say it just streams li- streamlines their morning because they just wake up and they had to wear they had yes. to wear like the same shirt, pants, shoes every day. He went to private school. Did you have to do that? I had to wear a uniform. Yep, Cistercian. Yes, indeed. Yes, well, one of the one of my like best buddies from school was a freshman when Angus was like, you know probably like a sophomore in college, but I guess had like heard stories about him and was like, you were like a, he talks about, he talks about you like a fair amount. What do you have heard stories about? I, mean, I guess you were just like a legend at Sturgeon. Our school Whipping was like a blip the on pepper. the map. We weren't even in the Dallas uh, social. Yeah. He said there were 50. Hemisphere. He said when he went there, there were 50 kids. Oh. There's 40 kids a grade. <laughs> we were, we didn't talk to anyone. No, yeah. he went there though. He went to your school. He oh, was, I thought you were saying, oh, oh, I'm no, 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 the no. Jesuit guy. No, 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 no. This is a kid from Cistercian that went to Cistercian. You know mm-hmm. him. Max? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good did you job. ever do something crazy? No. I did, um, no. Nothing? Did, like, vape in the bathroom or anything? <laughs> no, we didn't do any. Like, it's the most boring uh, environment you could create in a lab. Yeah. High school mm-hmm. I went to. Yeah. Guys, taking a quick break to talk to you about Babel. My girlfriend's from down south, from way down south. So Babbel's helped me connect with her and communicate with her. I'm learning a little bit of Spanish, a little bit of a love language. I just want to show her that I'm trying to be involved in her life. Okay, and thanks to Babbel, I've become closer. It also helps that I live in Venice. I live in L.A. It's a melting pot. I get to communicate with an entire new group of people. I get to become closer and enrich myself in the culture. All because I downloaded some app? Yes. All because I downloaded Babbel. Now with Babbel, you can learn everything you need. You can have real-world conversations from vocabulary words to culture. All it takes is 10 minutes a day, okay? Babbel's advanced speech recognition is like having your own personal language coach to help you improve pronunciation and get prepped for confident, real-world conversations. People aren't even going to know you're a fraud. Here's a special limited-time deal just for our listeners, not for anyone else. Right now, get 50% off one-time payment for a lifetime Babbel subscription. Uh, That's absurd. It's only for our listeners, though, okay? Do not share this code. It's babbel.com slash Friday. That is B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash Friday, F-R-I-D-A-Y. If you share the code, I will find out. They will tell me. Rules and restrictions may apply. Guys. Squarespace is a friend and a sponsor of this podcast, but also they've done more for us than anyone. We use Squarespace for our website, Friday Beers. Now, they've been great. We started as a little tiny mustard seed. Now we've grown in this big oak tree, big canopies spreading over the horizon. Thanks to Squarespace, we're able to help drive people to our website, help drive people to our accounts, sell merch, connect with the audience. Squarespace is a great way to do that. It's a great way for entrepreneurs to get their start and get their edge and establish their presence online. So head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to www.squarespace.com slash Friday, F-R-I-D-A-Y. You're going to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Get out there, you entrepreneurs. Get your business started and get online with Squarespace. Wait, Will, how south is Dallas? Why don't you have like an accent? 
Um, Dallas is a big well, melting pot. I'm from South Carolina. You never asked me that. Well, that in my brain, I don't know, Texas to me, I feel like everyone would have accents. Yeah, you know, Dallas, not really. It's like, it really is like a city that kind of has its own. Um, it doesn't really feel like the South. It just feels like any ordinary city just planted in Texas. Until hmm. you um, go outside. Right? <laughs> The heat, the don't even get me the heating. Don't get me started. Yeah. Well, the podcast will go three hours over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, also, I'm. I'm. <laughs> this is something I've been thinking about. Accents are on the way out. I was just talking about this to someone. Like, yeah. The, the way we're all like interconnected now through the internet and stuff, and like you're consuming, you're constantly hearing voices that are not from where you're from. I think it's just wiping out accents. Like this, mm. this is what Liam, like Liam doesn't have a Boston accent. Liam says, and I couldn't agree with him more. In uh, in 200 years, we're all going to be filled with microplastics. We're all going to be trans. We're all going to sound the same. <laughs> <laughs> Think you're, about it. You heard it here first. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Write that down. My next business pitch is Frendel. So each morning it picks a new person in your life. So like if I guessed... Will Donellan. It would tell me if the person, if the real person is taller or shorter, uh, uh, it's like closer wordle. or further to me. Yeah, it's Wordle for friends. Got it. And uh, and like funny or less funny is all these different categories. Mm -hmm. And I have six guesses to guess which mm -hmm. person it is. Got it. I love that. Yeah. Do you have to go do you have, when you like started. Do you have to input all of your friends. Or it just knows. Oh, it knows. That's perfect. Yeah. yeah. It just knows all your. I, maybe it's connected to like Facebook or Instagram or something. Yeah, but it, like I oh, wanted yeah. it to be random kids that you went to high school with, where you'd be like, Randy Waterman. Yeah, is that, that a real person? I went to middle school with him. He used to it's eat a great name. You yeah. eat cheese and ketchup. He was like one of those kids that would like do stuff to get like do outlandish things so that you would point it out. Yeah, yeah, and be like, Randy, what the heck are you fucking doing over there? And like he'd say, say he saw a portal open on the way to work. <laughs> <laughs> What? Wait, what did you say? I, is this lore? I don't know. About. I didn't. No, was, I didn't even hear. I was. That was Jason did the other day. <laughs> oh yeah, Jason was on the highway. And was like, it was like it was like it's the entrance to hell, and it, it, the video was just a normal. It was the first time I was like, Jason has schizophrenia because it was <laughs> it was a normal video of this guy. No, I and, think he's just doing what Randy Waterman did. Yeah. Well, he'll also he'll also stand and do a thing until you. He came in and he came into Skyler's office the other day and did something. And Skyler started chanting, "Jason's doing a thing. Jason's doing a thing." And he got he got so mad. What? What was he doing? He came in. Skyler was standing in his own doorway, facing me, talking to that chair in the corner. And he came up and was like, "You got a little ting on your fucking pants," and like started like playing with Skyler's pants. And, and Skyler turned around and started doing that to him. And Jason got so mad. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> start a little chant. It's great. It, it was. It was. It was the first. It felt like. It felt like I was watching, like high school bullying for the first time in like years. It really upset. Bring me. it back. Yeah. Bring it into the workplace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. You got a third pitch, Will. Dude, do. he feel it. Is he like dying? I think so. <laughs> do you hear him more? Oh, I kind of do. Like, hum, 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 hum. Okay, smoky, like me, me. smoky sticks. Nice, I like it already. It's, it's called cigarettes, dude. Come on. No, it's a new type of cigarette <laughs> to oh. help you quit vaping. Uh, I like it. I like nice. it. What's what's different about yeah. it? Um, it, it's it's got cool names. Mango like darts or heaters. No flavors. <laughs> okay, <It> stinks. <laughs> it stinks real bad. <laughs> it's like free cologne. Um, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, no more boring white teeth. That's you get a new color. <laughs> uh, and what, are they going to be like heavily regulated by the government, or it's like they're in the back pockets of we our? We have legislators? nothing to do with the government. <laughs> okay, these <laughs> legally can't be sold through uh, sanctioned stores. Okay, okay, and also here's the thing: we also sell a vape to help you quit smoking. We're selling we're selling weapons to both sides of this war. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. And we're just going to put them in a blender and just squeeze <laughs> as much money out of them as we can. I like that. Sell that to the military. Smoke. No. Smoky sticks? Smoky sticks. Nice. All right, what do you got, Willie? We've got the gradual fridge, okay? <laughs> you, think about it. Every fridge you see, it's like a fridge, freezer, two compartments, right? <laughs> well, this one. <laughs> <laughs> what? This one, instead of making it so binary, it's just one big opening. On one side, it's like light fridge, and on one side, it's like heavy freeze. 
and you can kind of decide where to align things in there. Because like your your drinks, maybe you don't want as cold as say something else you have in the fridge, and so you can kind of choose exactly how cold you want that thing to be. That's such a good idea. Yeah, yeah I, know. <laughs> I know. What is the do- What does the opening look like? It's like a giant like drawer. Yeah, it's just a fridge. It's just like a fridge. What if it's a, a giant? It's just a fridge, but it's all one. A giant stone door. You have to like roll to the side. Oh, like Jesus's. Like, <laughs> yeah. What? Like the like circa. Or what the, the fuck? <laughs> it's like trying to help. <laughs> trying to help improve the idea. Why would it be a grad? Why would it be a gradual fridge with a stone door? Why would it? <laughs> Hmm, that's a good point. That's a really good point. Ooh, do fridges like that exist? <laughs> no, I just made it up. No, not like that. Like with this big stone door. <laughs> no. But it could be the first. <laughs> Why would that ever exist? I don't know. It sounds cool. It's like a room. Um, like a wine cellar, but it's a fridge. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's, that's just like a walk in. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, all right. I got the dog. I haven't really named it yet, but it, it's, it's like the dog chairlift, right? So. Each morning, there's like your neighborhood has it installed. Everyone pitches in. It's like a giant cable that runs like around your neighborhood. And each morning, a fake man that's like propped up on the thing shows up at your door. You hook your dog's leash to it, and it takes him on like an hour long walk. <laughs> that's great. And then it just comes back to your door, and you unhook him. I like that. A and lot. he looks real enough that your dog like is excited to see him. That's awesome. Yeah, that is a really good mm-hmm. idea. Thank you. That's really something special. Can he, maybe he can, give, <laughs> he can give treats. He can give treats, and he like he it has a sensor. So like when your dog stops to do something, he'll stop as well. That's awesome. Yeah. But there are other dogs. They have different. Th- they have different people. There, there. There's different men. There's different men on the cable. Right, but like I don't. I haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> <laughs> So we're high level. High level. High level. I want to invest. You're allowed to ask the right question. I feel like I I feel like I'm probing too much. I I will figure that out later. Again, Will and I are very high level guys. We have, you know, yeah, mechanics, not mechanics, uh, engineers. We have figured out. You have a team of engineers. We have a team of mechanics. We got the guy from NASA. (laughs) We have all mechanics. (laughs) All right, Will, you're the guest. Do you want to do Ben and Jerry's first or Sayings first? Um, Ben and Jerry's. Let's do it. Start us off, man. All right. These are Ben and Jerry's flavors that don't exist. Yes. Okay. Wait. Or should we? <laughs> should we do the other thing we've been doing these days, where we don't say that, and we? Pro- oh yeah. Pro- yeah, yeah, yeah. Angus, what are some of your favorite Ben and Jerry's flavors? Wait, and then you just, just answer. Like, I love, and then you just pretend like it's. Real. Yeah. Oh, okay, so we're not doing a draft. No, we are. We are. We are. You do, you do one. Will does one. I do one. We found the clips of doing well when we when we make it when we don't say that don't exist at the beginning. We well, mine are like, too obvious. They don't exist. <laughs> no, that's the whole, that's I know, the whole I know, point. I okay, start over. Yeah. Will, what are some of your favorite Ben and Jerry's flavors? Okay. Well, my all time favorite for me personally is Nerf and Nut. Uh, it tastes just like a big chunk out of a Nerf football when you were a kid. You b- take a big bite yeah. out of it. I love with that. A, with a little, n- some nuts sprinkled in That is one of my favorites. I really like that. I it's really, a good flavor. I, it is a good flavor. I couldn't agree more. I really like Neapolitan Complex. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Neapolitan. Yeah. But um, it's t- short and... Uh, and Nice. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. <laughs> it's like one of the better ones there are. Yeah. Thank, yeah thank Which you. is why it's two. Which is why it's number. <laughs> that one's that one's good, but I don't think it holds a candle to Caramel Gibson. <laughs> yeah. It's um I like that. Yeah, it's it's Mel Gibson's personal flavor and it is just heavy on the caramel. Mm-hmm. Wow, yeah. What was that one you were saying you like? Oh, well, you know how Ben and Jerry's like started selling uh weed in their ice cream? Like there's a Ben and Jerry's store on the boardwalk. Yeah. Well, did you hear what they're doing now? No. <laughs> the, the Ben & Jerry's Eye of the Storm. Right. It's a hint of chocolate. Okay. A little bit of strawberry. 50 milligrams of LSD. <laughs> three milligrams of psilocybin. Four liters of concentrated jankum. It's pretty good. <laughs> Each bite takes you closer to the abyss. That's it's, awesome. You're right. Because when you get it, this is the Eye of the Storm. Yeah. yeah this yeah. is the best you're going to feel the rest of your life before you take a bite. Oh, oh it's like while you're eating it, that's the Eye of the Storm. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I love that. It's a good... It. 
I don't love the taste because <laughs> I feel like the jankum. The jankum is pretty jankum. overpowering. It feels like a lot of jankum. I feel yeah. like it was mostly jankum. Also, based, con- on the, most- based on the <laughs> amounts you said, <laughs> concentrated jankum is just it's a two f- liter. It's jankum concentrate. But yeah. Then. Yep. All right. Have uh, you, yeah. What's your have you guys seen their new cake batter ice cream? No. no it's what called, is it? <laughs> it's a, this is like a good one. This is a good one. It's called swing batter batter. Nice. And it's like baseball themed. That's really good. Actually. Lovely. Yeah. That one's. That's really good. That one's like should exist. Yeah. Swing bada bada. We know how Ben and Jerry's is big for people going through breakups. Mm-hmm. They just came up with one called "You Smashed My Heart Into Reese's." <laughs> I like and that. It's really good. It is a Reese's based flavor specifically for someone who just got their heart broken. That's awesome. What do you like, Angus? Um, <laughs> I really, I really like what they were trying to do with this, but it kind of <clears throat> came across like. The Kendall Jenner Pepsi commercial. Yeah. yeah. Have you seen their new flavor? It's like the um, Palestine Hamas flavor. Mm. It's like split right down the middle. But here's the kicker. Both sides taste the same. Wait, Palestine and Hamas? Israel and Hamas. Sorry. <laughs> both, si- both sides taste the same. Yeah. Yeah, they're both really bitter. <laughs> that was good. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like um, Snook. <laughs> they they partner with Snooky from Jersey Shore for the Snookies and Cream. She's doing great. Yeah, <laughs> she's looking yeah. good too. Yeah. So it's just Snookies and Cream. It's that's it. <laughs> that's all I got. I just had the name. Yeah, I I think it's cool that they're branching out into cereal flavors mm-hmm. with their new mm-hmm. doing tricks on it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, it's it's uh, tricks and that's kind of it. It's just vanilla and tricks. That sounds mm-hmm. good actually. Yeah. Yeah, I like their line of uh, Pepto flavored ones mm. so that you can enjoy it without having your tummy hurt. Yeah. It's yeah. Just Pepto and them teamed up. Yeah. Pretty what, good. Is there a name for it? Pepto and them. Uh, Pepto and them? Pep, Pepto. Pes- pe- pe- pepper, peppermint bismol. Bismol. <laughs> bismol. Pepto mint. <laughs> Pepto mint. There you go. There you go. Pepto mint. I did awesome. You did. <laughs> I was so nervous. <laughs> My heart's racing like. Have you had the um, banana Santana? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I have. Yeah, they partnered with Santana. Nice. For the- I feel like that's something they'd actually do. Yeah. Well, yeah. they did. They did do it. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> yeah. Santana. The yeah. band. It's dun, 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 dun. Didn't ring a bell. Yeah. Well, you're not very. You're not very into music. Uh oh. Not very good. Uh oh. Um, we well, guys know how there's like rum raisin flavors. This is the espresso martini flavor. I think that that would be really good if wow. it was if it was an espresso martini flavor that also got got you a little buzz going. What's it called? This is called espresso martini. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, you know, I like their new flavor. It's not it's not getting a lot of good reviews, but the chunky chunky chocolate chicken pot pie. <laughs> <laughs> it's, pretty, it's actually pretty good. I watched you take like a deep breath before <laughs> delivering that. That's great. That sounds so yeah, that fucking sounds gross. Fucking horrible. <laughs> chocolate chicken pot pie. Chunky, oh. chunky chocolate chicken pot pie. <laughs> oh god, it's a with, mouthful. With that, even outside ice cream, just a chocolate chicken pot pie. <laughs> well, they leave the bones are in there. It's like, oh. it's like finding a toy. Oh no! Oh my god. Oh, what do you? All like, right, bro? my last one that I really love is um, the UCLA. I guess when they made one. They, with UCLA called Mint Chocolate Chip Kelly. What? <laughs> I, I ran, I only had four right before we were about to start. <laughs> They're all just puns on someone's name. That's what they fucking do. That's Wait, all I, will, I know it is. Well, I can, I can give you, I can give you one. Uh, you can use Clint Chocolate Chip. It's the Clint Eastwood. Oh. Yeah. Um, my favorite one is, it's based off of the YouTube phenomenon. Uh, Charlie Butt Her Finger. Oh. Yeah. That's. And uh, yeah, it it's got a kick to it, but it's good. Have you seen that Charlie bit my finger? Of course. No, I feel like Lauren Lauren would be Lauren would be the one person that. How I've never have seen. I? We should get the guy from that on here. I bet he's he, no, he's forty five. He passed away. Really? Fentanyl from his hand. Oh. Mm-hmm. He couldn't oh. handle the the fame. The fame. <laughs> no. <laughs> Charlie bit. What's he doing now? I have a couple freebies. Yeah, uh, lay them out there. These yeah. are just not part of it. Oh, Harry Davies' car. Oh, wait. 
He's in prison so, for aggravated assault. Here's, here's, <laughs> on the girl in the video. Here's, here's, the, here's the question. Here's the question. Who's more famous? Charlie or the person who got their finger bit? Which one's Charlie? The person finger. Got, the guy who bit the finger. Who got their finger bit. Well, oh, there's an NFT. Uh, I don't care anymore. To be auctioned off on NFT. All right, <laughs> Wait, they took the YouTube video down to sell it as an NFT. That's what you said. That's brutal. Um, a wicker chair that's been out in the sun for six years. That's, that's the flavor? flavor? That's the flavor. All right, that's all I had. <laughs> okay, wow. That, that was the last one. Hey, it's a freebie. Beggar can't be choosers. It's a freebie. Guys, taking a quick break to talk to you about game time. Now, I remember when Kyrie first got traded to the Mavs, they were playing the Lakers in Los Angeles, and I was I was scouring for tickets. I was like a little truffle pig with my nose to the ground. I couldn't find anything. No good prices, no good seats. It was frustrating. I didn't get to go see my team. But then comes in game time. Last-minute tickets, excellent prices. In fact, I'm going to use them right now. The Kings are playing tonight. I might go with my girlfriend, and we're going to find some great ticket prices at the last minute because game time makes it that easy, okay? And here's the thing about game time. If you download the game time app right now and create an account and use code FRIDAY, you'll get $20 off your first purchase. That's insane. Terms apply. Again, create an account, redeem code Friday, F R I D A Y, for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest prices guaranteed. Should we do sayings that don't exist? Yeah. All right. These are more sayings that don't exist. Angus, start us off. Okay. These are tough to come up with. I'll say that right now. Do you ever come up with sayings? We no. asked her to, and she just said no. Yeah. <laughs> She just, she just, she just said no. <laughs> I'm shedding my winter coat. Mm. So this is essentially when you get fixated on something for a couple weeks. Like you get a new hobby, but you know you're going to abandon it soon. Like if you buy a bunch of Legos or you get into, uh, you get into like um, crocheting. Um, it's basically you telling your friends like, yeah, I'm doing this thing right now. I'm just shedding my winter coat. Because you know it's eventually going to be gone. It's messy. Yeah. It's ruining everyone's... Wait, is shedding the winter coat when it's ending? That's like, right now I'm in the process of... Oh, oh, oh I see what you're saying. Of shedding it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's so funny. I'm actually crocheting a blanket right now. Do you I think saw you that. It looks And I have it. so many Legos, I'm inundated. It looks well, no, so soft. I'm very proud of myself. Uh, if, can Will and I fun. commission you to make a play date one? Sure. Yeah. I would do a hat. Or an oven mitt. Ooh. Well, that seems a little complex. Why are those the two options? It's going to take me a bit I would do a hat or an oven mitt. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, well, what do you got? All right, I've got, he'd pay a ticket before he paid the meter. It's a like way that. to describe someone who operates very reactively and Ooh. it doesn't seem to ever be proactive. Yep. That's really good. That yeah. is good. I got falling up the stairs. Um, it's like that person who, it seems like no matter how many mistakes they make, they're still seeing success and they like don't have to pay uh the, the pied piper yeah yep Crandis. Yep. okay this one is um i actually don't have a, a definition for it or whatever you say <laughs> this one is just you can't get squirtle and bulbasaur yeah you have to pick you, one you gotta pick one they're both gonna be good yep. you gotta yeah. live with the decision you made is that true can you only have one well, well you'll you get, you get three starter yeah. pokemon right, you right, right, one like of them rob doke at gunpoint or True. something, right? Or you traded with your friend. Ugh, but then you have to get the cord. Yeah. What the heck? It's like a trillion dollars. Yeah. It's, like a- <laughs> it's made of like cobalt. <laughs> yeah. You have to mine it yourself. Yeah. Cubone. Um, Do it, maybe. Yeah. So it's just, you got to live with your choices and trust that they're going to turn out great. Yeah. I like that. All right. Uh, I've got tie your shoes before you start running. Nice. Get your things in order before you go for it. You know, don't be... So That's actually eager. a very good one. This is you a good hurt, one. Hurt yourself. Yeah. Um, I got eager. I got you can't win on the first hole. I think sometimes people will start celebrating one win mm-hmm. and lose sight of the larger goal. Mm-hmm. You have to be consistent if you want to reach your goal. Like a golf. Yeah, yeah. I was referencing. You've won the battle, not the war. Yes. Yep. Yes. Yes. That's good. That's whoa. I guess you could you could whoa. <laughs> I guess you could also say you can't I think the the flip side of it is you can't lose on the first hole too. So don't get discouraged. Yeah. If something True. goes wrong in the beginning, you have a lot of time to make True. up for it. I like that. Um uh, this one <laughs> Okay. 
cows only give milk when they're pregnant. <laughs> so this one is... What was that noise? <laughs> this is the sensation of... Okay. This is like what you say when someone has the sensation of realizing something obvious that was like an insignificant fact. Like, for example, like I always thought ki- cows were just like constantly oozing milk. But like it just makes sense they can only give milk when they're pregnant. It's just something yeah. I didn't think about. They have to be or, physically pregnant, or they have like to be pregnant to give milk. So all the milk we come get, I just thought cows were all, just always yeah. leaking milk. I kind of did but, until right now. Yeah, honestly. It, Will and I went to a cow farm, and they didn't even tell us that. Uh, yeah, we couldn't focus on anything. We went to a cow farm, <laughs> and they were just pissing and shitting, and it was so funny. The lady, do you remember that? Yeah. Sorry, we were at this cow farm. The lady's like giving like so like these cows like in the winter time we bring them in here, and there's just one right next to my head that's just unloading <laughs> his gas tank on me. <laughs> And uh, anyway, sorry. I, so, oh, sorry. Continue. Well, okay. The last thing I'll say. So the way you would use that phrase is like, if you, if I was talking to you and you were like, oh yeah, I guess I never really thought about how like puffer fish are like filled with water, not air. Yeah. Then I'd say, yeah, cows only give milk when they're pregnant. I like that. Yeah. I, I like how you also dropped the puffer thing. It's a good one. That's that one I just, just learned like within the year and it yeah. blew my mind, mm-hmm. which makes so much sense. Where the hell? Yeah. The fuck I mean, they have gotten like the cows yeah. only make milk in their parking. Yeah, there you go. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> You're one of my good friends. Oh, wait, 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 where's my fedora? Um. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. fun, man. All right. Seriously, you're a good guy. All right, go on. Thank you. All right, I've got... Don't pull the goalie and call it a power play. Nice. <laughs> don't be reckless, you know? You want to get something done, and you're ambitious, but... If you do something too reckless, you're going to leave yourself vulnerable. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's uh, really good. Yeah, just it is really good. Take, be patient, and uh, yeah, all of yours sound like they should already exist. That's kind of the, that's a common theme mm-hmm. with no. Will's. His are his are his are really good. It's constantly, amazing. I'm like um, you're like the Michelangelo, I'm like the Gordon Ramsay of sayings. You're like the Joe Biden of sayings. I'm like the Biden of sayings. Yeah. You're like the... I'm like the Kamala Harris of sayings. No, I'm the Kamala Harris. You're the, I'm, I'm near the guy who's the best at it. Yeah, and you're like um, Anthony Blinken. Yes, that... Oh, that guy. That <laughs> bastard. Okay. He has, you're the Anthony Weiner of sayings. There the, we go. You're the Carlos Danger of sayings. I'm the, yeah, I'm the Hunter Biden of sayings. <laughs> Did I tell you guys yeah, I made my get political. I made my Uber Eats account Hunter Biden? <laughs> <laughs> I just like I, you never. I never. I always do leave at the door, so I never yeah. see them. But like, I, I'd like. Are to you think, worried they're gonna like like some guys gonna like spit in your food? I never thought about it. like anthrax. Yeah. <laughs> um, That'd be hysterical yeah. if I died because someone poisoned me. Yeah. All right, I got speeding in a school zone. It's your. It would be you're doing something that would already be bad, but given the circumstances, it's even worse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Example would be like you're. You're day drinking during the week, uh, but you're also at like your sister's recital. Like, dude, you're speeding in a school zone, right? Yeah, you're. Uh, you shouldn't do that. Mm-hmm. Fun fact: That's how I failed my first driver's test. You're drunk. Really? No, I wasn't drunk. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I was at my sister's recital. No, I, was, I, I sped in a school zone. <laughs> oh, pretty tough luck. Yeah, that's that is good. tough. I, instant fail. Yeah. Turns, as it turns out. <laughs> okay, this is um, vinyl ain't dead, or like vinyl ain't dead. It's uh, just like two options how to say it. <laughs> Something that should be obsolete, but it's thriving due to like mo- emotional attachment. Like, yeah. CDs and cassettes all came after vinyl, but no one uses those. They're coming back, though. That would well, be the vinyl ain't, right de- now. vinyl ain't dead. Vinyl ain't dead. There we See, go. It already worked. It already worked. In- or like, I guess, I don't know what else it would work <laughs> for, but like, I guess like maybe like plays. Yeah. We have, we have movies now. Yeah. But, like, you know, it just feels like th- there's just improved versions. Something has, like, a series of improved versions, but it's still around. But you're, yeah. Yeah. I, is it making sense? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like an it. old car or something. Maybe. There you go. Yeah. Or flying an old plane. Biking. Biking an old bike. <laughs> Fi- eating, like, you, some, go, you eating find something in your fridge that's really old. old. Yeah. And you eat it, so you get it. Like, why are you eating that? The thing's way expired. Like, vinyl ain't dead. (laughs) You just (laughs) slurp the yogurt down. (laughs) Oh god. Ew. All right, well, all right. I've got. uh, He turned left on red because he didn't see a sign. It's like when someone's being being. uh, Wait, wait, wait. This one made sense when I. 
Wait, that one's like exponentially longer. I'm so confused now. <laughs> <laughs> he turned left on red because he didn't see a sign. It's like when someone has like a terrible excuse for doing something really negligent. Oh, I see. Yeah. He's like, yeah. he's like, what do you mean? Like, I didn't know. It's like, what? Would, like, you never, you maybe, never, maybe you never like, told me I couldn't. Maybe it's like, would you turn left on red if you didn't see a sign? Maybe mm-hmm. it's like a, que- yeah. a rhetorical yeah. question. Oh, yeah. That might be better. That's That could work. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know. I'm sorry about that. No, it's really I got good. blundled. <laughs> that was like, awesome. My mind got blundled. And the you were, you said it really confident, too. At first. Yeah. Then you got a little nervous. You came in, you came in hot. I mean, yeah. Around. Would you turn left on red if you didn't see a... If, would you... Would you turn... Would you turn left on red because you didn't see a sign? Yeah, it's like uh, it's like oh, I think it's I think it's a good thing for moms to use in their kids, where they'd be like, mm-hmm. "You didn't say I couldn't, I couldn't eat all eat all the yes tricks kids who can before dinner." And she's like, mm-hmm. "Would you would you turn left on red if you couldn't see a sign? If just because I told you you can't have all those tricks before dinner doesn't uh-huh. mean just you can't for do some it." Some loophole. Yeah. Yes. All right, I got wiping without looking. It's uh, you're trying to fix the situation, but you're not. Uh, you're not checking to see if any progress is there. You're just going through the motions. Yeah, that's great. Without actually, you know, seeing if you're doing anything good. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Because sometimes you only need like two wipes. Sometimes you need a hundred. Dude, the other day, Lauren, your this is gross. You might want to cover your ears. Cover your ears. I swear to God, I wiped for thirty minutes. It just wasn't. It just. It was. It was like there was. It was like I was uh, wiping a sharpie, yeah. and and I had to wait for it to like try out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't even think the listeners want to hear they that. Dry, yeah, sorry, guys. That was my bad. Or something. Dry erase. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Dang Why it. are they called dry erase markers? Like, what? show me a is wet it, erase marker. It, yes. Yes. Mm, I don't. Why does that get snaps? <laughs> Did, All right, Angus. Angus, a, tell us snapping one. Snapping a big part of this pod. No, is, no we've I, literally I, we've I, only I, done it I, twice in history, and they've both been with you. I kind of like it. Yeah, it's I awesome. Like it. I, I'm giving someone their flowers. It feels yeah. like you know. Yeah. What I mean? Whoa. <laughs> I think that already. Oh, said. Hello. <laughs> what All the right. hell? I just came up. With you that. spend enough time around the, the 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 goblins, you become a ghoul. You spend enough time around the wheel, you invent the plane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I literally can come up with them on this. You podcast. should get your own podcast. I have one more. <laughs> I have one more, and it sucks. Okay. Okay. It was a backup. Yeah. Um, the Matrix. Flo- the Matrix flopped when it came out. Yeah. Oh, that one's not no, bad. No one liked it. Is that no, true? Yeah. And now it's a legendary movie. That's crazy. Is that real? Mm-hmm. Huh. No one got it. It's, like, it's similar to I like. like uh, I've never seen it. Like Van Gogh wasn't appreciated in his day. Correct. It's true. Yeah. But I don't think or, that that's a saying. Or em- Emily Dickinson, <laughs> I believe. Uh, yeah, I don't know anything. Was she the one? They, like, found all of her work and her, she, like, died and they found it all in her house. Oh, she wasn't publishing it. I think it was. That's pretty It might not be Emily Dickinson. It was someone, though, where, like, she died and very famous, like. I think that's going to be this podcast. Level. Yeah, that's like, going to be. Will and I are both going to die and then someone, like, a hundred years from now is going to be like, <laughs> you guys heard about this fucking place? Okay, Once but they how- have the technology to make all our stuff, we're going <laughs> to be like, <laughs> the greatest <laughs> inventors of history. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, all right, what do you got, Willie? What's your final all one? All right. <laughs> okay. I'd rather have my cleats on and never play than take one snap in my loafers. <laughs> nice. It's better to be prepared than to, and you know, be over prepared than it is to get caught off guard. That's look. something your dad oh. would say. Like, better to have it, not need it. Yeah. 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 Better have your cleats on and never play than take one snap in these loafers. That's really good. Thank yeah. you. These my are really good. my last one's really bad, and I apologize in advance. It's um, good man, hey, deep breath. Babysitting a cat—it's something that it like anyone could do. It requires zero effort. It's just like you put in the minimal amount of effort, and you'll be successful. Yeah, so, kind of like babysitting a dog. Yeah, but these require like a little I'm bit of attention because you're doing that right now. I'm doing that right now. Um, like cats, you never see them. All you have to do is like one thing: just put out food and water. Yeah, I one time my friend went out of town and I had to give his cat food every day for a week. Did you forget? No. On the last day, I showed up and this cat and I were finally starting to bond, and I put its food out and then it like jumped on my leg (laughs) and clawed my leg down and I instinctively kicked and it flew across the room, (laughs) slammed against the wall, and then I I ran away. But I f- it fully pancaked against the wall. Like, I kicked it. It's a tiny <laughs> Did you tell your too. friend? What? Did you tell your friend? Yeah, and he was like, that's fair. Yeah. 
my mom Whoa. was uh, my mom was like cuddling with our cat the other day, and they were like kind of roughhousing. And it, she said, it. She saw his eyes go from like the eyes that she's always seen to like predator eyes, and it went and made a perfect X, like Zorro, like on on her on her like where your nose meets your eye. Jeez, perfect X. It was bizarre. One time, my neighbor Johnny Bones was. <laughs> I, I decided to use a pseudonym, an yeah. alias, but this was a real person. When we were, we went out of town, and we had him dog sit for our dog Cookie. And he just two weeks or something. He never, <gasps> he never went down there. Did your dog? He like ended up like finding food and like eating it and like surviving. But he, the basement was caked in shit <gasps> everywhere. We got home, it, like oh the whole gosh. house reeked. And, What'd you say to Johnny Bones? <laughs> um, it was just like one of those like, what are you? Gonna, he was just like a kid who lived, like, what are you gonna do? Yeah, but I, I mean, how old did was he it? apologize? Was he like, like, I, was he like, I forgot? Twelve or something. What would he say? I don't, I don't even know. I was. I was like a little kid, but I just know that it was like, yeah, it was, it was like, oh my god, we just did animal abuse on accident. Poor Cookie. Yeah, how's Cookie now? Six feet under. Yep, I knew that too. I don't he know fell why. On the stairs I on that. homecoming. Really? Yeah, I got a stroke and fell on the stairs the night of my brother and sister's hum- homecoming. Oh and, my god! Uh, Is that how he met his maker? Well, he was just like he couldn't walk and his eyes were twitching. So the next morning we took him to the. I was at Owen Wallace's for a sleepover. Because it was like homecoming and they were doing pictures and stuff at the house. My parents like sent me note. Then my dad came in the morning and he was like, "Hey, uh, we got to go put Cookie down." And then my brutal. brother was so hungover that he wouldn't get out of bed. Ooh, I remember my that's that's sad all around. It's yeah. a wicked nightmare story. Yeah, sad all yeah. around. My golden retriever when we were kids, I was like, it's like one of my first memories. It was on the bed when you walked in the house. And my mom was like trying to get us to say goodbye to it. Yeah, and I remember. She was like, everyone everyone, say goodbye to Addy. We, like, didn't get it. And uh, I was like, no, nah, I'm going to go watch TV and left. And that was the last time I saw the dog. And I remember, like, it kept popping in my head the other day and be like, oh, that's so bad. Yeah, it's fucked up. Mm-hmm. I was, like, seven. And I don't think they I don't think they did a great job explaining that totally that was the last. The stakes. <laughs> they were like, say goodbye to Addy. And I was like, I'll see you mm-hmm. later. Like, no, I'm going to go watch. It's probably for the best. I'm going to go watch The moment. Sponge. All right, I've got one more story to tell. Okay. I thought of a story the other day. It came up, and I was like, this actually might be my best story of all time. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. In Please. 2018 or 2019, I, my I, freshman year of college, I met a girl, we, my first girlfriend. We were dating. We'd been dating for like a year at that point. I went out and visited her family in Northern California, like San Francisco. Yeah. yeah. And they decided to bring me to a Giants game. San Francisco Giants game. I go to the Giants game. I get there. We're waiting. Like, we go to where our section is. And, like, you know how they don't let you down unless there's, like, an out? Yeah. Like, sometimes, like, you're just kind of waiting at the top of the stairs. Yeah. yeah. So I'm standing there waiting. And uh, the guy in front of me turns around and just starts looking at me. And I'm like, what the? What's this guy's deal? Realize it's my Uncle Mike. Like, my very close uncle. Like, my mom's brother. Who like is you know big part of my life? He lives in Phoenix, Arizona. I live in South Carolina. We didn't coordinate this at all, and we're like, no way! Like, what are you doing here? He's like, oh, I'm in town for work. I just bought a ticket 20 minutes ago. And we're like, that's crazy. He's like, oh, are you sitting in the section? He's like, yeah. Like, let's see if we're close. Maybe we can move around. Our seats are there's one guy in between us. Wow. Same row. I'm six and he's eight. Yeah. And uh, what are the odds? We're wearing also also we're wearing the same hat. We had both gone to the pro shop on our way in and bought the same hat. That part is le- that part is less impressive to me. The the odds of you guys being one seat away from each other is like astronomical. That's low. crazy, insane. And it, and like my girlfriend's family, I think thought I was getting like <laughs> like human trafficked or something. Where he was like, "Oh, hey, Will," or something. Yeah. And I was like, hey, Uncle, "Uncle Mike." Mike. <laughs> and like, uh, yeah. So we switched with the guy that was in between us, and we just hung out the whole game. And it was it was the craziest thing that's ever happened. I mean, that's insane. Yeah. Yep, that is pretty crazy. <laughs> so, well, I wanted to tell that story. That's the coolest thing that's ever happened. The Matrix flopped the day it came out. <laughs> Are you telling me that story was a flop? No, I'm saying part of that, like, the, I'm, it's a callback to this. Yeah, I mean, Will, I love you. I'm just going to say that would have been it would have been a better story if you didn't preface it by saying this is the greatest story ever. <laughs> I was expecting Uncle Mike to, like, get in a shootout with, like, a pirate. Well, yeah, but- I thought he was going to kill a guy. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm sorry. I had I, I had mean, a that's completely such a different story that Lauren's I crying. What's like an <laughs> uncle? What's like an uncle? The story I made up in my head wasn't the one you had. What's so. like your? What's like a close uncle, a friend of yours? A, uncle a close, close uncle close. friend? A cl- <laughs> an uncle that you're close with? My uncle friend, uh, Uncle Eric. And I. Uncle Eric. Imagine we're in Kansas City for work. We go to a baseball game, and Uncle Eric's two seats down from you, and you didn't even know he was in Kansas City. Yeah, I'd be like Eric. Yeah, that'd be insane. Can you do one for me? <laughs> okay, imagine you have an uncle. Okay. Do you have an uncle? Yeah. What's one that an uncle that you like? You're pretty close with. Corbulus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Imagine you go to a Toronto Argonauts game, okay. CFL Grey Cup Finals, and you're two seats down from Uncle Corbulus. Now I get. And it. you're wearing the same yeah. San Francisco Giants hat. <laughs> get out of town. <laughs> That's a crazy story. No, it is crazy. That'd be pretty crazy. I have yeah. pictures of it. Here, put the picture. Me and Uncle Mike at the game wearing the same hat. Okay. And I and that I, guy and I have a from the top and, I've, <laughs> <laughs> and I have a picture of the tickets to prove that they were that close to each other. This isn't. This has nothing to do with anything, but it just reminded me of when Angus said that. Did you guys ever see that guy who was on trial for murder, and like they happened to be filming and. Uh, that Larry David, like Larry David, happened to be filming at a game. Yes, and he's in the background with his daughter, and that was his only alibi. And he yeah. got off because this camera happened to catch him he's in the background. Curb your enthusiasm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they wow. found like unused footage from the show. Yeah, it's fucking insane to get this guy off murder. Well, what do you do if you're if you're on trial for a murder that you don't commit? I feel like the entire time, like anytime it was my time to talk, I would just not be able to control myself and be like, I don't know how else to tell you. Like I didn't fucking. Yeah, Dude, it's like it seems like they're so calm and composed okay, when they're. They, they've been going through it every day for like three years. Up yeah, the trial. I still think so, I, the entire time I would be just be like, I didn't well, do this. I'm also like, did that guy at some point was he like, oh shit, we saw the Larry David filming. Uh, like, let's go. I think contact he was, that's the what studio. he said to his lawyer. Essentially, I think. I think he was in jail for like years. Like, well, the trial. No, was I just going. mean like, at what point did he like? How would they have found the unused footage unless I he think was, that's exactly what happened. Yeah, is, yeah, he, yeah. is he was like he was like I don't know how to. How to access this footage, but like there was a camera crew there. That's insane. Yeah. What if the there's got to be saying for that? What are you guys gonna do with our day off? I'm going hiking. Work. Yeah. I saw Liam this morning. He, him and I were the only two people in here with the cleaning ladies, and I go, "What are you doing here?" I goes, "I'm just grabbing some snacks." <laughs> he came into the office just to get snacks. That's actually smart. Genius play. I like that. I've taken many, many a beer, many a liquor. Many a snack from the office. Yeah, I take a lot oh, of yeah, beer. Yeah, you're like me. drinking too much, right? <laughs> no, that's me. What? No, I'm just, I'm just trying to scrub that from my memory because that'll hurt for the rest of my life. Yeah. So I just got to focus on that. Right well, now. we'll dry Jan. Are you really? Yeah. How's that going? It's great. I gave up. I'm going to see how yeah, I saw I Will. I saw Will on the first... First night of dry January, I was at a or second, whatever, like third, third or fourth night, first weekend of dry January. Two hands behind me on the on the bar. I turn around, and it's Will Denon. I'm so excited to see him. I was like, "Thought you were doing dry January?" And he was with this girl, and he was like, "No, I stopped." And I was like, "Why?" And he was like, "We were at we were at dinner, and this girl ordered a beer, so I ordered a beer." Yep, that's how it goes. Yeah, but I think that was like a good reason to break. It, it. is a good reason. Yeah, you can. Well, I mean, would you turn left on red if there wasn't a sign? All right. You are so fucking baller. <laughs> you are so fucking baller, dude. Well, this has just been a blast. <laughs> I fucking love this guy. Cut. <laughs> Thank you for coming on, Will. Thanks for having me, oh, guys. Yeah, yeah. I wish my sayings were better. They're hard. No, no. yours were good. They're I definitely great. wish yours were better. Guys. Really? I was awesome. No, you were great. You promise? Do you want to plug your... Uh, uh, yeah. Guys, bird, please bird follow dogs? us on the Almost Friday pod. Um... We just had a crossover episode with Lauren. Oh yeah, Lauren is the producer. We yeah. had we had uh, Willie and uh, Rusty on for a Christmas episode. That was a fun episode. Go listen to that. Um, we got everything you love about this pod. Uh, we got a little bit a little bit of that in our pod. So go follow the Almost Friday pod and uh, and Almost Friday TV. Ang- Angus William. And uh, I got nothing else to plug. Have you seen? There's an account on TikTok that's just reposting all your videos. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I noticed that recently. Yeah, I go okay. Yeah, I can't do anything about it. Well, guys, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you guys next Wednesday, and we love you. Peace.